Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov. And this guy makes his way to the Octagon, DC. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again here tonight. The moment he walked in the AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English. He was always listening and paying attention to try to learn and how to improve himself. And the moment he stepped foot in the gym, he was just open to each and every lesson, and now it's showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC, and he has only built on that and become a champion, one of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was all, <laughs> it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all, it was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proving ground here tonight again, trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 16 wins, five losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Pepper number no And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Big punch lands. Ooh. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, just misses with the kick. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Khabib. 
underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. He's got to be careful, dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fight a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Real quick leg kick. Couple of chins here being tested early. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Lunges forward with a left air. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Piotr Young. Flush right hand is true. Three minutes. Right hand on point. Ooh, head kick lands and turn. Continues to mix it up, coming to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Nice punch, Lance. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Both fighters throwing heat now. Pretty good right hand. Left hook, yep. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Nermago Meta. Beautiful body kick. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the gun. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Straight right is there. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind him real well. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nermango Medov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? And if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many. Words. You got to get the elbow to the side. And you're going to land one. That's going to shut everything down. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Ooh, blocks the shot. Nice three punch. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. That punch, no good. Final seconds of round one. Oh, that right hand is on point. Horn sounds for the end of round one. What are you doing out there? Let's shake it off. We need to do exactly what we did in the gym. I want you to keep your hands up. Keep moving. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after the guns of blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Good stick. Block that kick to the body. Good shot. Good shot. Keep it up. 
Just misses with the jab. Well, you don't want to say Habib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, yeah, right hand. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Great punch landed with so much power. Nurmagomedov's punch to the body there doesn't get there. Nice job by the defense to block the shot. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Nurmagomedov gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Oh, nice. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. So 99 total strikes unofficially have landed for Piotr Jan. And connecting with 48% accuracy against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just over three minutes now to go. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. And he caught the kick. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Place kick there by Nurmago Medov. Just missed with the left there. Nurmago Medov's kick to the body. That one blocked. Slips the punch. Nice loop and punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Finds a home for the left hand there. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Nice kick. There you go, look for the shot. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Pretty good jab there by Nermago Medov. Left hand. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Back and forth we go here. Nermago Medov gets crushed with that hook. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Ooh, what a punch. Final seconds here of round number two. Nice shot over the top there. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round.
right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Try to establish that jab. And he landed the right hand there. Big kick land. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. All right, making 153 total strikes have landed for Piotr Young. Well, and still connecting on a pretty good clip, DC. 45% accuracy thus far against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Nice punch there. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Just out of range with the big right hand. Left hand counter there. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Big kick land. Well, a combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Good punch land. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting this. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Oh, big punch lands. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Oh, that's a good right hand. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. Khabib lands early and he lands off. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Hands up, hands up. Head kick. Lands with the right hand. Okay. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job. That's the biggest shot of the fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Final seconds of round three. 
Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big body kick land. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Big leg kick land. Nurmago Medov gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the... Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing him with that type of defense. Straight punch lands. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Right lands. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, getting bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Clean left punch followed by the right. Can't take many of those. You better check. Nurmago Medov's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Good punch. Wow. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Well, missed on that one. So Khabib choosing to strike here tonight, DC. We saw in the Conor McGregor fight, he was more than willing to try to land power shots on the feet. And that's what we have seen here in this one tonight. That's a big strike right there. Wind it up on the right there to know about. Nurmago Medov gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed and placed. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back on. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Look at him drive his shin into his whole body with that body kick. Beautiful strike. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Back with that offering, DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. 
uppercut and landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Big kick land. And a nice left hand there on the inside. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Jab snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast. Oh, he hurt him. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, a huge block there. Nice. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, that's the end of the round. And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man going to earn his money tonight. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Sneaky head kick. The cardio and the conditioning of Piotr Jan is just absurd. I mean, this fight has just been a great showcase for him in all respects in this martial arts. Spinning back fist. Uppercut and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Looked like he might have landed there instead. A swing and a miss by Nermago Medov. You wonder if the offensive foul. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. He's hurt bad. Well, that's not what you're looking for defensively. He moved right into that hook, and his opponent wisely lands it to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one gets his attention. Connects with a right. And that left hook landed on the button. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Great punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. How about that shin? Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. And that one certainly found the target. Battle back. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. And both guys really throwing with authority. Real nice body kick land. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time. What a power strike there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house. He can't get it. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Oh, that's a nice strike. Landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. And follows up with another one. Sound defensively blocks the shot. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Look at 
how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Ooh, what a punch. Less than a minute to go to decide this one. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Hands on your face. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, strong punch there by Marco Meadow. Ten seconds of the fight. Oh! What a fight! decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision all three judges score this contest 50 45 for the winner by unanimous decision Pepper number three. all right so there he is the celebration is on he tried to leave the judges out of it tonight was unable to do